Google Expedition makes a stop at Osage Trails Middle School. We'll have details next. Also on the broadcast, several Indian signs letter, letters of intent. Plus, we'll have this week's sports recap. All this and more are coming up on KFOI Weekly News. There is no better place than Lunar Bowl for your kid's birthday party. Lunar Bowl has youth birthday party options for as low as $99.95 for a party of six, including two hours of bowling, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and a lot more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your birthday party, call group sales manager Tina Short at 816-220-7722. That's 220-7722. On the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T U-verse Channel 99. I'm Tatiana Mata. And I'm Katie Shoneman. And here are this week's news, upcoming events, and announcements for the Fort Osage School District. Google representatives made a visit to Osage Trail Middle School to demonstrate its new educational product, Google Expedition. KFOI Le Leona Lador and Cassandra Ritchie found out what the product was and how it benefited teachers and students. While using the Google Expedition, you can travel to anywhere in the world. Sierra Kimbrell thought it was a cool experience. I don't know. It was cool because you can see like what the teacher wanted you to see. It's like it's like you were actually there, except you can't touch it. Maybe you might have to look around for waiting for teacher because it might be black. The Google Expedition allows students to see the different environments that animals live in. Tayo Hinkley got to see river otters. We learned how like, they drain the tanks of the river otters every night so that they can be cleaned and how they prepare their food. They like freeze it overnight. <laughs> The students would like to travel to different places. Aiden Kelly tells us where he would like to go. The Bahamas. Probably see the ocean. Miss Forbes thinks that she can use this to teach her students about different career paths. For us, it would be easy. We're in the middle of a career unit right now, and so one of the expeditions we went on earlier today was to follow an airline pilot career. So it's one thing for me to be able to talk about a, a pilot's career, and it's another for my students to be able to actually walk around in an airplane and actually see it take off and land. So it would be very easy for me to then come back and ask them, okay, what was it like to um, fly a plane and what was it like to land a plane? I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> so here's the village. Miss Consienza wants her students to get the experience that they might not get in person. Um, I think I just want them to get a lot of experience and go different places that they wouldn't be able to get usually because, you know, going on field trips is expensive. I myself got to try out the Google Expedition, and it was pretty cool because I got to see things that I might not get to see in person. This is Cassandra Ritchie reporting for KFOI Weekly News. Missouri has a new immunization requirements for the 2016-2017 school year. Starting in August 2016, all 8th grade students will be required to have a Tdap and meningococcal vaccine. All 12th grader students will have to be required to have a meningococcal vaccine. The district will host a shot clinic at Osage Trail Middle School on February 19th. Forms for the clinic are due February 9th. Seven student athletes signed their letters of intent on February 3rd in a ceremony in the school's Performing Arts Center. Cal Harris signed to play football for Washburn University. Trent Roller signed to play football for Northwest Missouri State. And Seema Thomas signed to play football for Pitt State. Liam Bartlett signed to play soccer at Allen County Community College. Sonia Fatal signed to throw shot and discus at Chadron State in Nebraska. And Marina Rios signed to run track at Park University. Six more student athletes signed their letters of intent on February 4th in the high school's PAC. Five signed to play baseball, including Riley Hill at Pratt Community College, Blake Mullendore at Butler Communi County Community College, Cody Oliphant at 
Lobette Community College, Brayden Phillips at Neosho Community College, and Peyton Tolliver at Maple Woods Community College. Paige James signed to play softball with Avila University. We'll be right back with more news from around the district after this message. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. The Varsity A and B Scholar teams competed in North Kansas City Winter Tournament. The A team went for 4-3 and three on the day and tied for 5th. Colin Turnham earned a spot on the all-tournament team for being one of the top 8 individual scorers. The B team finished the day at 4-4 four and, four and made it into the, one, the Consolation 1 bracket. The speech and debate team traveled to Platte County this weekend. Our own Cindy Martin took f first place for humorous interpretation in sixth place along with partner Jessica Long in a duo interpretation. Maria Mulanazzi took fourth in Lincoln debate. The math club finished third in Division Three at the Smith Cotton Tournament on January 13th. The top Indian finishers included Luke Hill, Nathan Lee, Cheyenne Stewart, Michelle Anderson, Kaya Jensen, Franny Rodriguez, Hazel Newberry, Lori Parker, Austin Porter, Max Anderson, Amate Butte, Amate Butte, Aaron Long, Marissa Mallon, and Sarah Simons. Franny Rodriguez took first place overall for sophomores. The project graduation auction benefiting the class of 2016 is on February 13th from 10 a.m. until approximately 3 p.m. at the high school at 2101 North Twyman Road in Independence. Items include Fordo Sage High School t-shirt quilts, football champs championship memorabilia, new and used household items, even event tickets, gift cards, gift certificates, and candy station. We'll have this past week's sports report after these messages from our sponsors. Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. Visit the store to choose from thousands of designs to get digitally printed on shirts, hoodies, jerseys, and more. You can get apparel for your friends, family, clubs, and businesses. There are no setup or design fees and no minimums, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you want. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Suite D in Independence. Hey everybody, I'm Kayla Gross with this week's KFOI Sports Recap. The girls varsity basketball team lost a road game to Staley, 66-35. February 1st, Paige Ben led the team with 9 points and 2 rebounds. Sage Glassford added 8 points and Samantha Trimmer contributed 7. The girls then lost to William Crispin, 62-27. Paige Bunn had 15 points and 6 rebounds to lead the Indians. Samantha Trimmer had 5 points and Sage Glassford added 3. We'll be right back with more sports results after this message from the NFHS Network. It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night and um, it was a punt return. And I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And then, of course, I showed all my family members and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there's no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved, they feel important, and by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. Welcome back. The boys varsity basketball team lost a road game to Staley February 2nd, 71 to 52. The JV team also lost, but the sophomore team came up with a W over the Falcons. I'll be right back in a moment with the rest of the Indian Sports Report. Culver's welcomes you to deliciousness. 
Choose from a variety of options they have to offer, from strawberry shakes and root beer floats to grilled sandwiches and crispy chicken to be prepared by their friendly staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with their fresh frozen custards and butter burgers. Come into Culver's or pick up some carry out and let them serve you. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Welcome back. The varsity wrestling team came up with a dual victory over visiting Oak Park Tuesday night 51 to 13. Colin Divers pinned his opponent early in the first period while Jesse Jeffries took care of his opponent in 10 seconds with a quick pin. Elias Bowithi used a nice single leg move to pin his opponent in the third period of his match while Josh Barnes had to use a leg lock to record the fall in his match. The squad then defeated Liberty North 55 to 21. The Indians finish the season with a perfect 15 and 0 in dual play and take on the conference crown. Catch live coverage of select Indians varsity sports events on the pay-per-view service, the NFHS Network. Visit the website at nfhsnetwork.com and search for Fort Osage High School where you will find upcoming live events and on-demand events. Membership options are available under the Join Now link. Select the Support This School link for Fort Osage's special price of $49.95 for a 12-month membership. A portion of the proceeds goes to support Fort Osage student activities. The next live event is the court warming game tonight against William Chrisman. That's all for your sports recap. I'm Kayla Gross. Thanks, Kayla. If you have Fort Osage news and information you'd like to share on KFY Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Merithew at bmerithew at fortosage.net or Fort Osage District PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fortosage.net. Catch all the latest high school news, announcements, and sports results on KFY Daily News, Fort Osage High School's TV broadcast airing each day of the school week. Visit youtube.com and search for KFOI Daily News. Subscribe and stay informed. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Thanks for watching KFOI Weekly News on Comcast Channel 15 and 18T versus Channel 99. We'll see you next time.